Back on the Sportsmax Zone and we are continuing with cricket. Earlier Thursday, both the West Indies and touring Indian cricketers were at Sabina Park in Kingston, Jamaica, fine-tuning their preparations ahead of the second test starting there on Friday. The Virat Kohli-led Indians are undefeated on the current tour. That also included three T20 internationals and three ODIs. And they lead the two-test series 1-0. But Jason Holder and his Windis charges are aiming to leave the series on a positive note. The former West Indies captain Ramner Sawan, who is in the West Indies setup as a batting mentor, spoke to the Sportsmax team, including Mariah Ramharak and Orain Buchanan, on the eve of the match. Um, I think the, the difficulty that we're facing at the moment is trying to get the guys to, whenever they get a start, to carry on. Probably if they can get on to 50 and then a few of them go on to get um, big scores, it will really help our total. But at the moment, that's not happening. Um, quite a few guys have had uh, starts. Obviously, they haven't had starts in the first and uh, second innings, but the first innings they did, and uh, a few test matches before that. So um, we're hoping that once they get started, we'll be able to convert. Well, it's important that we stay confident. Obviously, it's never um, easy to, to be bored for such a, a cheap total, and obviously, in the position that we were in 15 to 5. So, we just um, try and maintain and to stay mentally strong and continue to work. I mean, we got to ensure that we continue to believe, and um, that's the most we can do at the moment. And hopefully, whenever they get started, we'll be able to push out the biggest scores. Now, the former West Indies player and successful batsman in first-class cricket, Floyd Reefer, is on debut this summer as head coach in a test series. And he was upbeat about the Windies' chances heading into Friday's opening day. Uh, we had a lot of conversations over the last few days. Um, you know, batters meeting, um, and Sarbon, who was here as well. But the, the most important thing for me is that the guys had the conversation amongst themselves. And, you know, we try to work out, you know, each other's game and, you know, the areas we, we're looking to score. and obviously working out what the Indian bowlers are looking to do to us and I have a basic batting plan but the most important thing for us is to continue to build partnerships at the top you know see off that new ball and then and then go from there you know partnerships is important the importance of communication at the crease as well um, all those things you know we, we talk about and about when you get your starts, you know, we, you look at the last game, most of the guys got starts in the first innings but never carried on. So we, we're focusing on, you know, guys that get the starts and we want them to carry on and get big scores. Final 11 has not been selected as yet, um, but, you know, F. Kimo Paul's yeah, his opportunity to play, you know, his role probably as a fourth seamer would be, you know, to bowl tight, you know, to maintain the pressure that the, the first three guys had built. And just bowl maidens, bowl good overs, you know, keep the pressure on, on the, on the batsmen, on the Indian batters, you know, try to be bowling at two point and over. And if he can get one or two wickets between there, I think he would have done his job. This is the big, big question, and I'm asking this for the Rakeem Cornwall fans. Uh, many have felt cheated in the fact that Rakeem would have deserved a spot on the squad. We saw the fans reacting when they came in Antigua. What's going on with Rakeem Cornwall? <laughs> Well, we all know Rakim is a, is a very good cricketer. You know, he has good skills. You know, he, he was just named um, the Player of the Year in the first class season. So, no doubt, once Rakim, you know, gets his opportunity, that he he will have something to offer the team. Um, he bowls good off spin. He bowls. He, he tightens up some one end, and obviously, he has the ability to get wickets. So, you know, once he's in the final eleven, he's going to bring a lot to the table in terms of control. You know, as controlling the game. And the West Indies captain and the world's number one all-rounder in Test cricket, Jason Holder, is also positive about what the team can do in this series deciding match. It could be a combination that we could lately go with. Um, yeah, it's still late to, to leave it to the very, very last minute to give ourselves the best chance to see how the conditions um, shape up in the morning. And, you know, having said that, you know, whatever 11 we put on the board, we've just got to get some runs. You know, we've been short of a few runs in the last couple of innings. And obviously here at Sabrina Park is another opportunity for our batters to put some runs on the board. Um, I think the boys have been doing an outstanding job. Hopefully they continue to do that and, you know, we get some runs off in the batters. I think that's that's the, the, the backbone of the side, you know. We've, We've done well with our seamers, you know, doing it for us. Uh, Kim Arosh has been outstanding. Shana Gabriel has been outstanding. And, you know, I've been also been su 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 very supportive in, in, in the bowling lineup. So, yeah, we've relied heavily on our paces over the last couple of years. And it's just a matter for them to continue doing the outstanding work that they've been doing. Um, every single time I call on any of them, they just come and give a, a massive effort. And it's, it's always in a, in a very good cause for the team. So, you know, hopefully we can continue to, to get our paces firing or keep our paces firing. And, you know, hopefully get 20 wickets in this test match. 
Now quickly to the India side of things, middle order batsman Ajinka Rahani, who scored his first test century in two years in the Antigua first test, spoke about how that effort has lifted his confidence and how the touring team is fully prepared for what the West Indies will have to offer. See, I think it definitely felt really special for me. Uh, I actually got to know that how it, what it takes to get a century after two years. I was working really hard on my batting. I always think about what, what, what can I learn from every practice session, every game. So it, it was really special for me. But I wasn't thinking about my hundred. I wasn't thinking about any milestone for me. What was important, even in the second innings, to get my team in into good position. Uh, we were 140 runs ahead, three wickets down, and. I knew, I mean, that partnership with Virat was really crucial. So basically, because of that uh, team thinking, uh, pressure was completely off. And uh, yeah, really special that getting that 100 after two years. What happened in last game, it's past now. We got to, we got to be in the present and think about uh, what, uh, how better we can perform uh, on that given day. But again, we'll, we'll have to respect West Indies. They are a quality team. They are a good team playing, especially in West Indies. So we'll have to start from the scratch and let's, let's see what happens tomorrow. So as we've said at the top of the show, just hours away from the start of this test match at Sabina Park in Kingston, Jamaica, and the Indians leading this series 1-0. And what happens in this test match will decide what uh, the series uh, ends up to be, whether it's a sweep by India, a 1-0 win by India, a West Indies, Vic, uh, West Indies uh, tying the series. Uh, that's all that at stake here. We heard several key personalities in the West Indies set up just now. Uh, gentlemen, Reds and uh, Wayne, uh, did anything jump out at you based on what these key people have had to say? Coach Reefer, Sarwan? Well, and and <laughs> it was mainly about what we hope to do, you know, what we would like to do, what we want to do, get, get a good start and then, you know, build partnerships. But you, it, it's got to happen, you know, it, it's got to happen. You don't have a Greenwich Haynes and Federicks where you know where you have a pretty good chance of it happening, mm -hmm. you know. Um, providing it can happen, providing they can bowl tight. You know, you ask for Paul to come and bowl tight. Paul did bowl very impressively in that game in, in, in St. Lucia when you were player's holder. I, I, I hope we, we can see that kind of tightness. Um, they got to use Roach sparingly, right? Sparingly. I want to see Gabriel a little, a little more hostile, um, hold the top of the off stump. But, you know, on the day you, you've got to produce your cricket, you've got to build pressure. We need to build pressure, not give away easy runs against India and, and bat with confidence. Not, not look to, to get too attacking too early, you know, get onto the front foot and try and see the, the opening pair off. But, okay, look at the India lineup now, Lance and Reds. I mean, the three fast bowlers, Ishan Sharma, Shami, and Boomer. It's, that's a formidable. Um, Very much so. Pace attack. And then you look at the pitch, it's a grass top, green top wicket at some higher park. Our batters are struggling at the moment. Confidence low. These guys are so confident at the moment. And more than likely, they might feel like they, they win the test match already based on the but, potency but, of their team. But, Do you see us? But the word is that the West Indies camp asked for the green top. I know, right. I was told that, that mm -hmm. the, the, the courts. But asked when for you got to win the toss first. Well, does <laughs> it matter? The green top. Know that. <laughs> but there's a fourth innings that you have to think about as well, Lance. It's okay for you to win the toss and say, push them in. But you're in a position and you might be batting last on the fifth day. You don't want Fair to be batting last on it. So that's what you have to deal with. Do you see the matchup of both teams that West Indies really have a realistic chance? I'm always an incurable of that they can really go and Lance, push over can India. Can you say that this is a better bowling attack based on, on paper? The Indian bowling attack? No, the West Indies bowling attack with, with Paul come in and place the comments. Oh, you mean better than the first test? Yes. Oh, for sure. I would say so. There, there's no question about that. Mm. Do you think, I just ask you, do you honestly think that um, West Indies, after being beaten so badly, I remember years ago when Brian Lara was on the um, probation, when the Australians were here, when yep. we were totally destroyed in, in Trinidad, and we came back with a ban and won the next two test matches. And, and do you see um, this West Indies team really bouncing back and really joining the series and getting our first 60 points? It will have to take performances by three or four players. Outstanding performances. People getting a five, people getting a, a, a double hundred, or, or two people getting hundreds. You know, you, you need that kind of performance. Yeah. Hetmeyer's name has been called a lot, Reds. It's a young player with unquestionable talent. He was captain of the West Indies team that won the world under 19. He's still young 
and his his supporters suggest that he's being pressured too much because he's still young and he's still learning at the highest level. But there are others who believe that he has so much talent, as I said, unquestionable talent, that um, he needs to introduce a little bit more care and responsibility in his game to start being successful because his current scores, as far as I'm concerned, don't even remotely represent what his talent is. Well, he himself must play a part towards what you're saying. But I think what's, what is lacking is a mentor. Somebody you know, has got to mentor him. Somebody has got to, I mean, it's great to see Clive Lloyd talking to him and Puran, but that's a short conversation. It needs, th th that special kind of player really needs a, look, Joey Carew late played a big, huge role in Brian Lara's uh, development. Things going wrong, Carew will be in his face. Well, I mean, in the proper way. Nobody, to me, as far as I know, a lot of people must be saying things. Um, but you've got to be very careful how you talk to a young man. But there need to be a senior person who's got that responsibility that Hetmeyer will respect and will try and go out there and not look to go. Uh, I've, I've heard in the past couple of decades, Reds, during the years of the West Indies decline, iconic West Indies figures say these young new players don't want to hear anything from them. They, they're hard to talk to. They don't want to listen because they have a mind of their, of, of their own. I am hoping, stroke, expecting that Hetmeyer is not like that. But is that something you have heard? Because I certainly have heard I've it. I've heard that, yes. that the former players say that they're not welcome in the dressing room. Mm -hmm. But if there is a plan by the coaching staff, if there's a plan by the West Indies board that X will, will, will work with Hetmeyer, and the psychologist who is around the team must not interfere. They're talking cricket, they're not talking uh, the, the, the mental game all the time. I think that is what is lacking with Hetma. He's on his own. A lot of people are giving him good, what they consider good advice. But Hetma has got a responsibility too. I mean, he's played enough cricket now. He's made a lot of money. If he wants to keep making money, he needs to sustain the team. You can't make money in the pavilion, mm. you know. Can't make money yeah. pavilion. He yeah. needs to start producing Wait. those scores. Whereas we have to wrap the segment. Can I just ask yeah. a yeah. burning question? Let me piss this for a second. West Indies lose this test match. We would have been beaten. We would have, been, we would have failed to beat India in any other disciplines. T20 or there is other test match. Will we see changes in the backroom staff if that should happen? That's a, that is, well, I mean, the coach is temporary. The chairman of selectors temporary. We're going to Afghanistan. It's an ideal time for us to rebuild as we rebuild under Lloyd in 1974 when the board says, Thank you, Rohan Kanai. Planted Lloyd, a lot of new players, you all know. Afghanistan is for that. And I hope I see the likes of Shamar Holder and, and, and Shepard and, and a few other young, t talented players. Uh, Ra Rakim? Yeah. And Rakim Cornwell? Well, I mean, it depends how he goes tomorrow. Uh, my information, he's playing tomorrow. So this is one game and he'll be judged off one game. Well, boy, <laughs> you, you have seen that. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, Perform well in the one game and... and yeah, and, so, but even yeah. if it, it fails, I mean, you know, he's under... Yeah. Well, that, that yes, because tough. remember, a, a touring team would probably have 15 or 16 yes, players. So it, it's hard for me to see uh, Rakim not making the And his, his trip. spin will probably do yes. very, very well yeah. in the Indian... I think they went to yeah. India, right? I think they played the series in India. But the, in the in India, in North East yeah. India. Yeah. 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 All right, we, we've got to go, Reds. Great having you on the Sports Max Zone. We uh, congratulate you on your honor that you will receive on Sunday during lunchtime. Cricket West Indies honoring you for the decades of service that you've given as a cricket commentator. There is also an evening with Reds, a, 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 a function at the Terranova Hotel on Monday evening Monday at 7.30. All are inv invited. Reds will be on the mic and all cricket fans can come to the Terranova Hotel and just engage Reds with uh, his and you know tap into his vast experience and and Lance if I can say I'm really sorry that Tony Becker and Tony Kozier will not be there yeah we understand fully Reds Pereira mm -hmm.